أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أهلا وسهلا ومرحبا بكم في درسنا اللغة العربية لغير ناطقنا بها So we're starting with الدرس الخامس عشرة So الدرس الخامس عشرة is 15th lesson Okay And the title of the lesson is في البيت في البيت means in the house Okay, and the first sentence we have Lil Baiti Mad Khalun Wasiun Lil Baiti Mad Khalun Wasiun. So basically, this part is you have Li, which means four, right? And then you have Al Bait. Okay, and when you have harful jar Li, which is a preposition and connects with Alif Lam, you simply lose the uh, the Hamza al-Wasal in the beginning. So you write like this. Okay. And of course you have your Kasra because this is a preposition, right? Remember, after preposition, you always get Kasra. Now, so it says, Lil Bayti Madhalun. What is Madhal? Madhal is an entrance. Entrance. Okay. You know, the door entrance. Wasi'un. Wasi'un is wide. We had this one before, right? Wide or spacious. Okay, so this kind of phrase, this is your adjective phrase, right? This is an adjective phrase where the wasion is an adjective, it's describing the noun madhal. Okay, so you're translating as a wide entrance. Okay, a wide entrance, a wide entrance. Okay, so I think we uh, mention few rules when you use uh, adjective phrase. Inshallah, I'll uh, I'll go over them right now again. So basically, when you use an adjective to describe a noun in an adjective phrase, adjective has to match four things with the noun. Okay, it has to match or agree four things with the noun. So all of these things you have to keep in mind. So let's uh, go over them. So we can say uh, adjective agreement okay so agreement with what with noun with noun so it needs to agree with four things what are they number one gender okay it has to agree with gender what does it mean it means if the noun is masculine your adjective has to be masculine if your noun is feminine your adjective needs to be feminine okay and we talked a little bit about what a, what does it mean uh, for a noun to be masculine and feminine, remember it doesn't always mean that we're talking about a female person. It can be any arbitrary word that ends with tamar bota, right? So here we see this word madhal. It looks like in masculine because it doesn't have any uh, tamar bota, right? And that's why we have to use wasi'un, the masculine version of this adjective. Remember, if you recall the last time we saw this word as wasi'atun. Okay, that means at that time this adjective was describing, uh, describing what it was describing, a feminine word. Uh, what was the word? I don't recall. I think it was hadika, hadika. Okay, hadika tun wasiatun. Remember hadika. So what's the difference? The difference is hadika had tamar buta, right? Because the word hadika. Uh, the word hadiqa is considered feminine word. And that's why at that time we also had to add tamar buta. Okay. So here we don't have this situation, right? We, we have the word is masculine. One second. The word is masculine. And, and that's why we're using a masculine adjective. Okay. So it needs to ag agree with the gender. Jayit. And the next thing it needs to agree is with definiteness. Definite. Ness, which means what? Which simply means if your noun is definite, your adjective has to be definite. If your noun is indefinite, your adjective needs to be indefinite. So in this case, we have what we have. We have madhalun, which is an indefinite because it has tanwin and there is no alif lam. And that's why we have to use indefinite adjective. Wasi'un. Okay, if it was al madhalu then we had to say al-wasi'u. We need to match 
the definiteness. Now, and the third thing is what? It needs to match with case ending. Case ending. What do I mean by case ending? It means if it has dhamma, your adjective needs to have dhamma. If noun has fatha, your adjective needs a fatha. If your noun has a kasra, your adjective needs a kasra. Okay? And the fourth one is what? Fourth one is, is number. Number basically means that if your adjective is singular, your noun needs to be sing has to be singular. If your adjective is plural, your noun has to be plural. If your adjective is dual, which inshallah some, something we'll be talking about soon, your adjective needs to be dual as well. Okay, so basically when you're making an adjective, you have to follow all these four agreements. Another way of looking at it that an adjective is simply a copycat. It's simply a copycat, right? What do I mean? It's simply copying everything that the noun has. It copies the gender from the noun. It copies the definiteness from the noun. It copies the ending from the noun. And it also copies the number from the noun. Okay, so this is another way of looking at it, whichever is easier for you. You just have to make sure uh, you understand these rules. Now, okay, it's something that inshallah uh, we'll be uh, seeing a lot. So, and you should be keeping in your mind. Jay. Next one we have Ala Yamini Hujratun Naum. Ala, we know what Ala is, is preposition, it's on. And Al Yamin, Al Yamin is right, the right side. I think we had this word before, right? Al Yamin means the right. And we have a kasra because of preposition, right? So it is right in terms of side. Hujratun Naum is bedroom, we had this one before, right? So basically, what, what does it say? It's saying that on the right side, there is, this one would be the bedroom because it has Alif Lam. Okay, you can translate on the right is the bedroom or you can say the bedroom is on the right. Okay, now, and then we have Wal Hammamu Wa Dawratul Miyah. Hammam means bathroom. Okay, bathroom. This one usually means you know where you can take shower you have bath or you can take shower right and dawratul miyah it means toilet okay there's another word that's i think used more often is mirhab uh, uh mirhab mirhab okay you should learn this word as well it is it also means toilet okay now then we have وَعَلَى الْيَسِيرِ الْمَطْبَخِ الْيَسِيرِ it is complete opposite of الْيَمِينِ which is left. Okay, the left. So on the left, الْمَطْبَخِ we know what مَطْبَخِ is. We had this one before. Kitchen, right? Is the kitchen. So it's simple. The kitchen is on the left or you can say on the left is the kitchen. Now, وَحُجْرَةُ الطَّعَامِ and حُجْرَةُ الطَّعَامِ is what? is dining dining room all of these words we had before and the next one we have well hujratul maktabi hujratul maktab is office right the office room so and the office room fit taba uh, see there's a typo it cannot be fit tabaku it has to be fit taba qi Okay, so this book has some typos and this typo is not coming from the authors, right? It's coming from the publications, right? When they're printing, then we have this typo. So we have to be a little bit careful. So we have to say, Okay, okay? So uh, what's going on? A tabak is like floor. You know, you have a floor uh, in a building. So it's a floor. So the floor, a thani, a thani is second. Okay, remember we had Ithnan, Ithnani, okay, which was uh, two. Ithnani was two. And you can see it's kind of coming from the same uh, word. Athani, Athani is the second. I think we'll be starting uh, the order numbers soon, inshallah, okay? So we can say this is actually an adjective phrase as well, okay? So we have Fitabaki Thani, okay? 
So uh, it means basically it means in the the second uh, second floor. Okay, in the second floor. Okay. وَحُجْرَةُ الْمَكْتَبِ فِي الطَّابَقِ الثَّانِي And the office room is in the second floor. Okay. وَفِي الْمَدْخَلِ And in the um, entrance, right? We had this word before. وَفِي الْمَدْخَلِ أَشْيَاءُ كَثِيرًا أَشْيَاءُ كَثِيرًا So what is أَشْيَاء? أَشْيَاء is a plural for شَيْءٌ شَيْءٌ What is شَيْءٌ? Shay'un is a thing, so ashya would be things. Okay? Ashya'u kathira. Uh, now you might be wondering, uh, is there a typo as well? We have ashya'u uh, because the singular is shay'un with tanwin, right? This is not a typo. Okay? So we have some words. Inshallah, we'll be learning about them. There are some words that doesn't take tanwin. Okay? So you cannot say ashya'un. It has to be ashya'u. It's similar to the female names that we had before. Remember we had, uh, we had like Amina, right? Amina, what did I say? I said you cannot say Aminatun, you have to say Amina too. Okay? Aisha, Aisha too. Although you can say Muhammadun. All right? So imagine that. So basically what you have to know for now is that there are some words Okay, in Arabic language, it doesn't take tanwin. Okay, there are lots of rules behind how to deal with them. Inshallah, we'll be studying them soon. It's called in Arabic, Mamnu' min sarf or it also has another name, Ghayr Munsarif. Okay, both of them basically talking about these same words. Okay, there are some words that simply doesn't take tanwin, and it has other ruling as well. Jay, so right now, uh, just keep in mind, there's no tanwin in this word. You say, Ashya'u. Okay. And then we have kathira. Kathira, okay, it's uh, it's many, right? So, um, or you can say a lot. So you might be also wondering why we have tamar buta here, okay? This is actually adjective phrase, right? So ashya u kathira, you can translate as many things, okay? So let's see how you translate. Fil mad khali ashya u kathira. In the entrance, there are many things. Okay, so many things is an adjective phrase. And what we said about adjective phrase, that it has to match with the four things, right? So let's see what's going on here. Does it match with uh, definiteness? Yes. So Asha is indefinite. Kathira is indefinite. Does it match with uh, a case ending? Yes. Asha has a Dhamma. Doesn't matter whether you have one Dhamma or not, as long as it is Dhamma. Okay, Asha has a Dhamma and Kathira also has Dhamma. So that's matching as well. Now let's see whether or not it matches the gender. Hmm. Looks like ashia, the word looks like it's a masculine word, right? There's no tamar buta, ashia, it looks like a masculine word. And the adjective seems like it has tamar buta. Okay, what's going on here? And also, ashia, I just told you, is a plural word. It is a plural for shayun, right? And kathira, it is a singular word. Okay, so what's going on here? Okay, this is also another rule, inshallah, we'll be learning soon. The, basically, the rule for now, only thing you have to know is that if you have plural, broken plural of an object, any objects, it is considered in Arabic language as a feminine noun. Okay, sounds probably a little bit confusing. So let me see if I can just give you one simple example to make this thing a little bit clear for now. So, for example, we said qalamun. What is qalamun? Is a pen, one pen. A pen and the plural is aqlam, right? Aqlam. Now, if you want to say a beautiful pen, you will say qalamun jamilun. Okay, jamilun. All right, so it's an adjective, everything is matching indefinite, indefinite. Okay, singular qalam is one pen, jamil is singular, and then we have gender is matching masculine and masculine and the, you know the case ending everything is matching right good so that's the rule that we learn so now what if you want to say beautiful pens okay so this is plural pens so what would you do you will say jami latun jami uh, jami 
Platoon. Okay, so this is why we have a difference. When we have a plural, this is a plural of any object, right? Think of think of like that for now. Plural of any object, we treat that word as what? As a feminine word. Okay, so this this word aklam it becomes a feminine word when we refer to an adjective. I'm pretty sure it's a little bit confusing for you right now, but you know, as long as you understand a little bit of this, it's fine because we're not fully discussing this matter right now. It's just that it's here. If it's bothering you, if you're wondering about this, I'm just mentioning it. So the key thing is to remember is that when you have a broken plural of any object, okay, plural of non-human things usually are treated as a feminine word. Even if you don't understand, then it's, it's still fine because inshallah we'll be having this kind of discussion later. So right now, only thing I'm trying to say, kathira. this is uh, an adjective phrase. You say many things. Okay, and I also mentioned that there's a little bit thing that you have to uh, keep in mind is ashia'u, you cannot have tanwin in this word. Uh, and then we have hmm, busat. Uh, I think this word is pronounced with uh, kasra, bisat. Um, I don't know if you can pronounce both ways. The way that I know it is by kasra, bisatun. Okay, bisat is what? Bisat is carpet. Bisat is a carpet, okay? So a carpet, wa min dadatun. Min dada, we had this word before. What is min dada? Min dada is table, okay? Wa arikatun. Arika is sofa, okay? Arikatun is sofa. Wa miqadun. Miqad, we had this word before, which is a seat, right? Wa kursi. Kursi is chair. Okay, so basically it's describing what in uh, in the entrance because it's saying fil madkhali in the entrance ashia u kathira there are many things okay then it just lists some of the things uh, that it has bisat uh, bisatun a carpet wa min a table wa arikatun a sofa wa miqadun a seat wa kursiyun and a chair okay basically. This is, you know, you have the whole picture, right? So this is what? Bisat, Bisatun, and this is your uh, uh, Maqad, and this is your Mindaba, and here's your Kursi, and here's your Arika. Yes? Good? Alhamdulillah. Then it continues, and it says, Wa fi saqfi thurayya wa misbahun. Saqfun is what? Saqfun is yeah, roof. Okay, saqfun is roof, you know, meaning the ceiling, right? So a saqfu would be the roof and we have a kasra because of harful jar fi. So um, here, you're not going to say in the roof, right? In translation, we're probably going to say on the roof or I suppose, yeah, on the roof. Thuraya is chandelier, okay? You know, the chandelier, uh, this one, right? Wa misbahun. Misbah is light. Okay, light. Misbahun. Okay, so on the roof, um, there is a chandelier and a light. Now, wa ala al haat miratun wa rafun. Haat is what is wall. This is your uh, wall, your room wall your house wall okay so on the wall miratun is a uh, mirror i think we had this word before mirror right wa rafun raf raf is a uh, shelf shelf okay let me see yes so this is your wall right and this is mira and this is raf is your shelf right now Ala al mindadati, on the table, on the table, zahriyatun kabira, zahriya. This is from zahra. Remember, we had the word zahra, uh, zahratun. Zahra is what? Flower. Flower. Okay, so zahriya, uh, uh, it means like a flower vessel or flower vase. Flower vase, yes. Right? Kabira, a big flower vase. Okay, so there it is, something like that. 
اوكي نعم وعلى الرف كتب ومجلات وجرائد اوكي so it says wa ala raffi kutubun so raff is what raff is the shelf kutubun is a plural for kitab kutubun is plural for kitab which is books okay majallatun is plural for majalla majalla tun which is magazine you know magazine magazine okay the reading magazine and the jaraid jaraid is plural for jarida 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 which is what which is newspaper newspaper okay so it's basically talking about on the rough which is your shelf we have kutub and we have uh, i suppose this would be like um, uh, magazine majallat and this would be jaraid uh, uh, your newspapers doesn't matter right now so now we have al kalimatul jadida we have the new words so let's see uh, these words we had madkhalun uh, madkhalun is entrance kathiratun kathira again kathira tamarbuta we have for adjective purpose but the word word is kathirun which is a lot many or a lot many or a lot okay okay so uh, see here they're putting a uh, kasra here bisat hmm. so um pronounced with kasra bisat okay bisatun which is carpet okay uh, carpet now jaraid is plural for jarid okay i just had this word so jarida which is what uh newspapers Okay, Dauratul Mia is uh, your toilet. Okay, and um, Madbach is kitchen, Arika is sofa, Zahriya is flower, vase. Okay, and Shakf is a Shakf. You don't need uh, Alifam. Shakfun is, uh, is a roof. Okay, Yamin is the right. Uh, kira'a, kira'a is reading. Al kira'a, uh, we, I'm not sure if we had this word in the text. Al kira'a is reading. You don't need al. Kira'atun uh, is uh, reading. Reading. Okay. Kabira, again, you don't need the Tamar Buddha. Kabir is uh, big. Okay. Kathir is a lot, like many. Kabir is big. Atabak, it means a uh, floor. Okay, floor. And we have yasar. Yasar is the opposite of yamin, which is left. Okay, ha'it. Ha'it is what? Wall. Okay, kutub is the plural for kitab, books. Thani is second. Second. Okay, first, second, that kind of uh, order number. And we have Ashya, which is a plural of Shayun. Shayun, which is things. Okay. Rafun is a shelf. Majallat is magazines. It's plural of magazine. And Hammam is bathroom. Okay, so and I told you that uh, you can learn uh, this word is used more often mirhad. Uh, mirhad. Okay, which is also toilet. All right. Now, so in the next page is showing uh, this exercise. We have uh, the word starting with noon and fata namir, and noon with kasra niqab. And Nunu Dhamma is Nukud. Okay, remember Namir is tiger, Nikab is the face covering, and Nukud is money, right? And uh, yeah, so uh, these are your uh, exercise about different shape of Noon. So inshallah, you can uh, go through them. And so that's all we have about the text and vocabularies. Inshallah, in the next lesson, we'll go through 
uh, the exercise okay inshallah so i will see you in the next time assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh